Okay, welcome everybody to Coffee and Art in the Morning. It's, oh, it's hump day. Where's, it is hump day, right? Where's my, here? <laughs> Where's Phil? <laughs> Happy hump day. <laughs> yes, I saw it, Connie. I, uh, I liked your post on Facebook. I guess you didn't see it. Yes, I, I saw that. Happy hump day. Oh, good, Aussie. Good to have you. Thanks, everybody, for being here. So, I've got two books out here. I, this is already dry, so I'm going to close it. Abandoned America. I'm working in this one. And I have Abandoned Places here, too. I also have my Heritage, um, Forgotten Heritage from Eileen. I got those. And this one, and this one's from Connie. So, I'm working, kind of go uh, going back and forth between them all. <laughs> And uh, so in Abandoned Places is the one I'm really kind of trying to do as much work in as I can because I want to eventually finish this book. And um, so it's just altering the pages. I'm kind of zoomed in here. It's altering the pages of the book. Let me see. Let me move this over because it's putting a glare. There we go. And... Um, so I know y'all seen most of this, you know, what I have done before, and they are on the pages. These are just partially done. Uh, the ones that are finished, there should be most of them have process videos, not all of them. And some, like this one's not done yet, so there's not a process video on that. Sometimes I'll just work in them. This one, there's, I think there's a video on this one. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Lindsay. Let me see if I can move this over just a little. There we go. This one's still in process. So what I'll do sometimes if I'm not like doing a show and I just want to work in the book, sometimes I'll just go through the book and, you know, put some paint on like this or I'll do little bits like in here or paint out some of the text. Uh, and just work on little areas like this one's not done. There's some collage bits not painted in yet. This is all um, paint down here. This is a little collaged piece here. And so I'll just work on getting rid of the backgrounds. There's a process video on this one. <clears throat> I'll work on just painting out some of the backgrounds or painting in some of the mist and things as I go and so I just kind of work here and there this one's I have I have some bookmark that I really want to work on um, soon uh, this one there's a video for let's see this one there's a video for um, this one I've been requested to do I really want to work on this one too. I mean, there's. I want to work on all of them. I think this might have been the newest one that we've done in this book. Uh, we did a, an abandoned uh, America piece, I think is the newest. So it's just taking whatever is there. Like this, I've just stuck this on here because I want to put that on this page. I, haven't, I just tacked it down. Um, this one here is done there. This one's done. So, yeah. This one I want to do. See, I have it marked. Uh, let's see what else. There's one. Try to skip over to some. This one. <clears throat> so, I've got a lot, quite a lot done in this book. Eventually, I want to have the whole book done. There's a process video on this one. So, if y'all have never tried to take a book and alter it find a book of things like this is abandoned places and you know um, crumbling things but if you don't like that kind of thing you need to find a book to alter of things you like <clears throat> because you won't stick with it where do I find all my pictures uh, magazines old uh, well new books books on clearance calendars uh, magazines yeah all over the place yeah um, I don't have a lot of magazines I have more calendars and books 
and if I buy a book to cut up, I try to take out all the stuff I want out of it. <laughs> I can't have room for, you know, too much uh, more because <laughs> I have a lot of books that I actually read. So <laughs> I have to have room for those. But these are books that you can get on clearance for a couple of dollars and, uh, and have fun altering them. It's a process video on this one. I want to do this one. See, I got it marked. Um, so I'm just kind of taking you through. Like this is just a piece of a cutout there. And I just have it tacked down with a glue stick until I get to that page. <clears throat> but I wanted to start today by showing you how, you know, like here's some text over here. I would just normally just like, you know, black out the whole, all the border and the text. There's just another piece stuck on there waiting to be glued, you know, in the in the piece. I want to just show you how you can just start with taking um, some black paint and getting rid of backgrounds you don't want. Here's a good example of that. Where, hey, uh, Elizabeth, where I I take black acrylic paint and I get rid of everything I don't want. You can start that way or you can start by putting on collage. Um, for the show, most of the time I start by putting on collage and gluing things down with, um, hang on, I'm bent, gluing things down with um, matte medium. And I use golden matte medium to glue, and I never have the pages stick with matte medium. So I'm just kind of flipping through so you can kind of see some of the pages that are here, some that don't have anything done to them yet just so you can see um, some of the different process. This one's kind of halfway done. I put a door here. I got rid of the pillars that were holding them. This is an abandoned gas station. So, this one's a process video. So you can see I've got quite a bit done in this one. If you have any questions, put them in caps. And if you're watching this recording on YouTube, thanks for watching. We're just going to do a little bit of collage and showing some things in, a, in altered books. So that's Abandoned Places. And then I've started working in Abandoned America. The, I think the last uh, show we did was in this book. And here's the piece we did. Let me move the... So this is the last one that we did, a double page spread. Hey, Amy. <clears throat> and again, sometimes I'll start with the collage bits glued down first and then start painting. Um, but today I kind of want to show you how you can, let's just say you just want to start in your book. And let me get a Kleenex or something to... I'm going to need some baby wipes, too. <clears throat> I got water in my brush, so. Um, you just want to start doing something in your book, and you don't know what. Well, take your book and start. See, like here I have a piece of collage just stuck on there. Uh, take your book, and you could, if you wanted to, start by, you know, getting rid of all the text. I'm not going to do that right now, but it's the same kind of thing. You can just take a big brush and get rid of all the text go through the whole book and black out all the text or whatever color it doesn't have to be black but a lot of my abandoned places books are dark anyway you know and so it's just easier just to you know use black to get rid of all the backgrounds but what you can do is let's just take this one for an example and I got my wax paper here <clears throat> And if you don't know what to do, on, I will need baby wipes, in your abandoned book. And again, pick a topic. Don't get an abandoned book uh, if you don't like abandoned places because you won't stick with it. You want, if, and I use gardens as an example because that's a, that's a good one to get a lot of uh, inspiration from, is if you have a book of like gardens, doors and gardens and gates flowers and you know it's it's brighter and a lot more colors and things and you know it, let's just say you like gardens so you'd want to get a book that has that stuff in it 
because if you don't like abandoned places you will not stick with it so let's just start here and I do have just a little bit of black paint out for now and uh, so I'm just going to get rid of all now be aware of this if you do start with the no matte medium you you won't be able to get rid you won't be able to erase your paint one of the things about the golden matte medium that's so awesome is when you have a coat of golden matte medium on your piece and you don't like something now I can probably do a little bit of it here while it's wet but I will not be able to get this back to see it will not come completely off I don't know if you can see that uh, if you want to be able to erase your paint you need to have a coat of golden matte medium because that coats your page and you're able to wipe away paint you don't want right now I'm just kind of concentrating on getting rid of things I don't want so it doesn't really that's not really an issue uh, and I, I kind of know what I'm doing with it so but again that's how I blend and how I erase <laughs> with uh, acrylic paint and I just use this is just all Americana craft paint it's nothing special it is matte um, if you you don't want a, a satin or gloss because you won't be able to pencil over it so I might just start with going through the book and doing stuff like this and just kind of getting a little bit of base on there and then dry that and move on to another page so I'm going to do a few of these just so you can kind of see make sure you dry before you turn, turn the page it's relaxing, yeah, Terry. It, it's relaxing for me, too, when I'm just doing it by myself, you know? Just watch a vid or something and, and go through the whole book and find things that I want to erase, <laughs> you know, or black out or color. It doesn't have to be black, like I said. It can be any color. And when I get to this, I might, you know, just paint clouds right over it. Um, do I want to show an example? Maybe. But I don't have mat. I don't have this. Let's see, that's still wet in the crevice there. Um, I don't have this coated. So I can't wipe it back until it's coated. I want to make sure it's dry, though, especially in the crevice, uh, in the spine of the book. If you have paint sitting in there and you close it, it will um, it will stick your book so you want to make sure not that you can't just go over it. we go back over it. yeah when I go to glue things down because that's what I use for glue too I use it for glue as well as and these are shiny pages so when you put the matte medium on it it makes it matte I think most of y'all probably see me do a, enough times <laughs> but anyway so let's see all right let's just start with this one for example Okay, let me put my wax paper. You want wax paper so you don't glue your pages sh together. All right, so I'm just I've just got some black paint here because I just wanted to kind of show you a little bit of the process. And uh, so if you just want to get crack a lacking in your book, then just go through it with. If let's say you're doing a garden book, you might want to go in there with lots of dark green to start with, right? I like to add outer space and things like that so I add a lot of black because it's outer space you know stars and planets and things so because I add a lot of that you'll see me use black a lot I'm not liking that I think I'm just cut that off right there yeah and I put it on pretty thick and I don't add water I don't add any water to my paint when I do this so you can start with something like this let's just say I'll go here you're the boss of your world 
<laughs> you can do whatever you want. <laughs> if you want to do the whole thing blacked out in just one little window, don't feel like you have to use, just because it's on the page, don't feel like you have to use that. Like maybe I do want a little bit of a reflection right here. From that window over to here maybe. Just remember though until you coat it with matte medium trying to wipe it away you got to do it right when it's wet or you can't wipe it away because it soaks right into the book. just get rid of that so you know then I might just dry this and move on to the next one or I might want to do another window here maybe this door here I'll paint And then maybe I put stars in there or reflect this, you know, this will just whatever you want to do. All right, let me dry this. Thanks, Terry, for linking the book. Now, this one's Abandoned America. So is there anybody here that has tried to do um, an altered book like this? It doesn't have to be just like how I do it, but is there anybody here that has done altered books? Again, here's a lot. Of, I haven't gone through this book and whited out the text. Sometimes I'll white out the text and then paint over it or collage over it. Right now I'm just kind of showing you how to take um, areas. So I'm kind of checking chat to see if anybody's ever done one. I have kind of a big brush. I probably, it's an angle brush, but it's still kind of big for little, these little spots, but. Aaron has, and it's a Nat Geo book. Yeah, well, Terry, you've been busy moving and packing, so I don't. I didn't expect you to have done anything. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I'd be surprised if you had anything done artistic with all the stuff you've been doing. And again, once once the paint dries and there's no matte medium there, it's you. It's hard to really erase. And I put that in qu air quotes because, you know, to just to get rid of the paint. You know, you can do it while it's wet, but it doesn't, you, you'll never get completely back to blank. So I'm thinking I might just want that. I think I'll just get rid of that door. I think I just want that one door. That looks better. I like that. And then maybe, let me get my wax paper. So I'm going to go off the edge. Maybe I want this to come like... Let's see, from here. I, I'm with Terry, I'm recording today is the um, Vice Lands uh, Abandoned. I forget what time it's on, but I have it DVR'd. Because I'm really looking forward to drawing some of those old motels and signs and all that. And that, that episode comes on today. 
if, if you didn't know that, Terry, then, oh, you, I think you already did record it, didn't you? I can't bring myself to alter a book. Oh, okay. Well, maybe if you went to the bookstore and got one, like an old, I mean, a used bookstore and got an old one or something that make you feel better. Uh, <laughs> I, I remember when um, the uh, manager of Books a Million, he's not there anymore, but um, I got a big old stack from the clearance section. There were two and three dollars. And he goes, what are you going to do with them? I'm going to cut them up and use them in my art. And he like blanched, you know. And then I asked him, I said, well, let me ask you this. What's going to happen to these books if they don't sell? And then it dawned on him. Oh, they'll probably end up in a landfill, you know, or something. So, oh, good, Terry, good. So why not, <laughs> why not put them to recycled purposes? That's what I look at it like. Like I'm recycling here. <laughs> I'm recycling. This needs to come down just. I scared some librarian volunteers when I got my stuff in a set. <laughs> yeah, it's recycling. I mean, we recycle all kinds of other things. Why not books that are just going to get thrown away? All right, so I'm kind of liking that. Now, do I want something on this side too? Probably. Yeah, and um, and if you go to new like Barnes and Noble, Books a Million, they always have clearance sections. They always have clearance sections. You know, you can get you can get a fifty dollar book for five bucks. <clears throat> oh, thanks, Pacola. Once I saw a Goodwill dumping box of books in the garbage. Yeah. You no longer feel bad about tearing up books. Yeah. Yeah, and using them in your artwork. Exactly. So I'm going to do a few pages of just painting out. Just so you can see some painting out. And then we'll go in and, and collage in. Just so you can see that this is some of the stuff you can do if you're not, you don't, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that page. Well, just start doing this. Just take some black paint and start painting out things. I call it reverse collage. Start doing reverse collage. Yeah, and and on and all over the text. If you don't want to paint that out, if you want a different kind of altered book, just text or write over it. Write big over the, you know, on top of the text. Make it, you know, like the words underneath are kind of hidden. Okay, so there's a start there. Now let me you gotta dry before you flip to another page. Yeah, and half price books. Yeah. If you're afraid to do it on a book, start with a calendar. Get a calendar of scenery or gardens or abandoned places. Get a, get a calendar. And I get all my calendars in February for $3. Um get a calendar and do this process you probably won't feel bad yeah you like the uh, the um, landscape format Terry yeah <coughs> okay. 
it's a little hard to it, or you could use a magazine too like we've done the magazine journals but I would recommend anything but a fashion magazine for it you can do it I've done it but the fashion magazines are the thinnest paper ever and you really have to be um, conscious of not over wetting you know you just have to use paint with no water and so uh, they're they're great for cutting like cutting the girls out if you want the girls or the guys if you want them in your in your world um, when you do you know uh, a, a collage because they're thin but you have to be really careful two things with the fashion magazine or any kind of magazine that's extra extra thin that's why you can get those big old thick fashion magazines for five bucks because the papers like paint so thin um, two things one you have to make sure <coughs> and add your matte medium to the surface to the back to the top and take a gift card and smooth it out to get out wrinkles because that paper will wrinkle the other thing is that with those real thin magazines like the fashion magazines is when you start scraping over the top with your card if you're not careful you'll scrape the ink right off the girls you know because they're so thin so you have to just be more careful with it it's just if you don't want to have to be careful get you a book that has some decent pages <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave that for now see I have different ones bookmarked here that I want to work but one I'll pick one to work on today but I just kinda want to show you here a little bit of what you can to start so that you don't freak out <clears throat> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Well, I'm showing you some things you can start. Just take some black paint and start working it. And just start playing. And don't be don't be a fearing. <laughs> and again, while the pet paint is wet I can wipe it back some on this glossy this is glossy paper if I was doing this on matte paper like in a book that had matte paper you can't do that it will it once you touch paint to matte paper it's going to um, it's going to sink right in unless you have it coated with the matte medium so So anyway, I'll get back to asking what everybody's working on artistically. Are you coloring? You drawing? You painting? Um, I really want to do some drawing today. Um, when I watch a, the my DVR abandoned show, so I can do some of those uh, old motels and Route 66 things. Hey Judy Patootie, Muse, who else am I missing? Lena. Yeah, and again, that's that's true. It's easier and, and I and I agree. I don't know if everybody will, but to me it's easy to you don't know what to collage, you don't know what to do. It's easier to start with um, something here and just start playing with paint on top of it. Again, it can be any it can be all all kinds of colors. If like I say, if you're doing a garden, you might want to do be doing all this with dark green. But it, you're getting rid. You're you're reversing your collaging. Dot's getting your toys ready for the workshop. Oh, I forgot what workshop you were taking. What workshop is it, Dot? I forget. Dot's in in UK. I forgot what workshop you're taking. You said last week, I think. Connie's working on ATCs. Buying more color books. <laughs> Jamie, going to Barnes & Noble today, see what I can put out there. But yeah, you know, just buy one book that you think you're really going to love. Because it's a commitment of time. I mean, you got to almost say, this is going to take me years. Unless you just work exclusively in your altered book. You know, we do so many other things, too, um, that it's going to be a time commitment. Yeah, I like that turquoise color there, too. So, 
you you know pick a book or two that you're really going to love or you won't finish you know Elizabeth is knitting what you knitting Elizabeth dot it's the first of three with Angie Hughes topic is gardens is it is it an altered I mean um, of art journaling dot I forgot I, I totally forgot I'm sorry Karen I hope to finish coloring Zimya Snova the very oh that's right you're working on the ship the ship page on the very last page you're trying you're doing the background and trying pastels pastels are a good way to do a background I just personally don't like the chalkiness of it so I don't use them but I've seen beautiful work done on backgrounds with chalk I would just rather use watercolor um, it's a fa it's a fabric what is it dot I forget you'll have to tell me again you're gonna pick up a huge box of fabric that you won there Lindsay, I bought a book yesterday, Just Add Watercolor by Helen Birch. Lots of ideas. The name sounds familiar, Helen Birch. It sounds familiar, Lindsay, but uh, I don't, it's not right in the front of my mind. Crafting Amy is coloring in your Japanese book, in her Japanese book. Arctic Elizabeth is playing along, altering books, dot, mixed media, fabric and paper. Okay. Yeah, see, I'm not familiar with that uh, artist workshop lady. <laughs> oh, you're finishing Elizabeth's knitting her um, niece's baby blanket. Oh, wow. Mountain Dream is in a traveler's notebook, decorating inserts. Suzanne, hey, Suzanne, working on a mermaid page from, from Deviant Art. Eileen is swatching her pollies that Jan so Janet doesn't smack you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, Janet and Eileen both got a new set of pollies. Polychromos color pencils. Melissa's working on ATCs. Tao's going to going to work on a page from new Molly Harrison. Hmm, not familiar with that one either. <coughs> King Gore is still in Zimia Snova. God, y'all are all busy. Yay, girls. You go. <laughs> go, girls. All right. So let's see. I think I'm going to stop on that, but let me hit it with the heat gun before I close it. Hey, Colleen. Do I say hi to you? Pat finished her Molly Weasley sleeves. I'm not even knowing what that is. <laughs> Is it crocheting? Molly Weasley sleeves. Janet is addressing an envelope for Eileen, and I might just smack her anyway. <laughs> Janet. Uh, <laughs> I have her first book, Freehand. <clears throat> I'm not sure, Lindsay, which one that is. <laughs> you know, if I haven't seen, used a book in a while, then... I might forget it, <laughs> especially titles. <clears throat> okay, so let me just keep going here and see what else I might want to, what strikes me as something I might want to do. Let's maybe this one here. And this is just a start. From Harry Potter part of your Halloween oh you're making a Halloween costume oh okay <coughs> no I don't I, you know I bought all and I know everybody's gonna say what what I bought all the Harry Potter books to read the whole thing and Cam had already read them when he was like eight <laughs> you know, seven and uh, so he saw I bought the whole set and he goes oh you got the whole set, <laughs> Nana? <laughs> yes. I'd love to reread them. Okay, take them. So I gave them all to him. I've never read them all. Never seen the movies. Not one movie. And see, this is one of my rules, though, guys. I don't like to watch the show like Outlander. Read all the Outlander books. 
before Outlander. Well, this was like back in the 80s, 90s. So I read all the Outlanders as they came out, you know. I mean, there's a couple newer ones, but, you know, they've been out for 20 years, Outlander. And so I had read all the books before the TV show ever came out. Now, I have to say, one of the things by doing that, I was very disappointed <laughs> in some of the way the characters look. I did not imagine Claire looking anything like she does in the TV show. Um, same for Game of Thrones. Until I read Game of Thrones, I'm not going to watch the show. Same thing for Harry Potter. I'm not going to watch the movies until I read all the books. i got to read the books first. So, that's just the way I roll. <laughs> I have to, I don't like to be influenced by the book, I mean by the movies. Okay, let's see. I need, how do I want this to go? I think I want this up this way. So, yeah. But I'm a big reader, guys. I. It's not like I'm, <laughs> trust me, I, you know, I'm not, I read so much. I don't read as much now that I, you know, the last, since I've been streaming, I read probably half as much as I used to, but I like to see the movie and then read the book, but too hard <clears throat> to do with the book. Yeah, see, I'm the opposite. I want to read the books first. All right, I'm going to do these. They're really dark brown up here, so I want them to be black. Let me get rid of all the little rafters and all that that's up there. So anyway, I just wanted to show y'all this uh, way of, you know, you don't have to necessarily just go right in and do a full-on page in your book. Sometimes that makes you discouraged, feeling like, oh, I've got one page done in a month. <laughs> you know, I'm not getting anything done in my altered book. Where if you go through the book, and just start whiting out, blacking out, coloring out your um, backgrounds, then you really feel like you're making progress in your book. You know? You'll feel like you've really done a lot. This needs to come up just a little higher. There we go. So. There we go. So, let me ask, let's ask another art question. Well, let me hit this with the heat gun first. You can use whatever you want in your book. However, if you get... Uh, Connie asked if you can use fabric. Of course you can. But if you want to do fabric on every page, it's going to bulk up real quick. Which, if you don't mind your book being fluffy, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just like if you would use it in an altered book. I mean, in an uh, um, a art journal. Well, then, yeah. The, but still, you're doing something, Terry Abrams. You're doing something. Um... I wanted to ask y'all what, if you could only pick one, and I know that's impossible really, but if you could only pick one medium and or technique to use, what would it be? Say altered book, color book, collage, what would you pick? Sewing, crocheting, knitting, what would it be? The, your, what, in other words, like, what's your favorite? Let's just put it that way. What is your very favorite to do? And some of these are, you know, they're double page here. I'm going to keep flipping and looking while, we, while I wait for the chat. Yeah, what's your favorite? Let's just say what's your favorite. Suzanne said jewelry. Eileen said mixed media. Then you can do anything. Yeah. Uh, Judy said airbrushing. Blue said collage. Megan said don't make me pick. Tal said... Oh, oh, I missed something there. Put, Cola said acrylic painting. Galena pencils. Claudia color books. Erin Copics. Uh, Mountain Dreamer Teresa mixed media. 
I know it's tough, isn't it, Muse? Only one? <laughs> Mixed media, Dot, Dot said. Mixed media fabric and paper. Button said, picking a favorite child. She said cross stitch. Melissa could never choose one. Can't pick one, can't pick one. Daisy's a color book. Pat says, depends on my mood. Tal said, coloring books. Suzanne said, I'm glad I don't have to pick. <laughs> Connie, um, right now it's coloring, but I've gone through different stages. Yeah, and I think we all have. We've all gone through stages of, you know, liking things. Aussie Paper Crafts, Eileen, her favorite is watching streams. <laughs> bossing, bossing Janet around. <laughs> Lena said watercoloring. Hey, May. Um, Barb said drawing because you can color your own drawings. That's so true. Crafting Amy, pencils, pastels, watercolor, and making jewelry. Happy said mixed media. Like this. I think this would be so cool to turn this uh, motorcycle into something organic. You know, like it's alive. Like a heart, veins, arteries. <laughs> Maybe we'll save that for Halloween. <laughs> and bossy too, yeah. She needs her job. Oh my gosh. So I'm just kind of flipping here. and Just whatever strikes me to, you know, start blacking something out. Now, here's a kind of a brighter one. Maybe we'll do something with this, just so you can see it better. Coloring acrylic paint. Okay, so, let's see. Oh, got to get my wax paper, because I'm coming off to the edge. If you're just going to do something in the middle, it doesn't matter about the wax paper. But if you're, if you're going to go off the edge, you don't want to glue your pages together with paint. Dot said, I think coloring books can... in inhibit your creativity. I don't know. I guess it depends. To me, color books teach color blending, color matching. It teaches a lot of things. That And here's the main thing, Dot, that I see with color books. It gets people started. People that think, oh, I'm not creative. I can't do anything. I can't paint. I can't draw. People that just think they can't do anything creative, they pick up a color book and they realize, oh, I can do something. I can match colors. I can blend. You know, I can pick cool colors that go together. And then you have a page that you've accomplished something at the end because you've colored in a page. So that's what I see about color books. So, yeah. But if you find that it inhibits your creativity, then don't do it. <laughs> if it inhibits your creativity from doing other things, then, then don't do it, right? Because only you know yourself if it does that to you. <clears throat> Yeah, and we've done that too, Elizabeth. We we use color book pages. Um, I haven't pulled those journals out for a while. Where we've taken um, altered books, you know, uh, mixed media art journals, and uh, used color book pages, napkin journal, you know, all of it. We love it all. We love it all. I I don't understand why I like to stamp and color. But I'm not into color books. Yeah, I don't know, Eileen. It's just everybody has their thing, you know? Everybody has their thing. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and go all the way up here with this. Maybe leave a little. Let's see. Oh, baby white. A little bit here. And you go through the baby wipes a lot when you're using paint. <laughs> I don't know. I guess you could probably say that about... Let me get another baby wipe. You could say that about anything, Erin. <laughs> Mixed media. You know, uh, it used to be scrapbooking. We'd all, you know, want the newest scrapbooking things. <laughs> uh 
all right let's see yeah but the thing is about that dot you said something about not coloring your own work but people that don't draw never can draw never will try to draw because they they've never developed the skill they've never taken the time to learn a skill of drawing they will they're not going to do that anyway are they they're not going to learn to draw so why not let them co you know let people color and have creativity and learn skills because i think that as you go along and you learn more about color more about blending seeing other people's line art and how they do things when you're coloring it that can encourage you to do your own so yeah i guess it just depends on your skill level i mean you know i draw all the time but i love my color books it's not inhibiting me i don't know i don't know about that but i guess if it does you then then you know okay let's see i think i want a little just to come this way i mean i guess you could say that about any kind of altered um not altered uh, mixed media you could say that about any mixed media and anything for 10 years after but color books have started you again in a direction yeah see so yeah i think everybody's at different places in their lives let's just stop at that okay and then this i'll probably just do all light blue i'll color this all light blue because then i'll put clouds on it but again right now i'm just going through and picking some things out just to show you how to make a start Make a start. I'm all about making a start. Here, let me get my fingerprints out there. Let's try that. <laughs> books and he found a duplicate of someone's me. I told him to have it and pull up his oh Oh, good. That's awesome. All right, let's keep going here. My brush is getting kind of needs to be cleaned out. It's getting paint crusted up in it. In it. I need to clean it. So I hope this will like inspire you to see how to make some starts. And look, what if you left this one like, hang on, let me do this. What if we just did this one like this and kind of smeared it so that you can still see part of what's going on underneath? Hmm. Hmm. Like that. Hello, crystals. I'm sure I'm missing somebody else, but hang it. Hi, everybody. All right, I'm going to dry this. Hey, CB. Just going through some of my. Uh, books to alter and picking out some things just to you know black out white out color out you know this is one I have bookmarked to do I think I'll wait until I'm going to do the whole piece there let's see just flipping through and then of course here's the one that we did last time in this book Let's paint a little out in this one.
If you have any questions or anything, that should say hotel D do da D. <laughs> A door right there. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Art helps your anxiety. Yeah, I know. I think that's true with pretty much everybody that does art. Yeah, got to practice the drawing, that's for sure. I can't wait to do some more drawing on the abandoned Route 66 later. All right, let me clean my brush. It's getting crusty. But I do plan on making some shorter videos, like some just not, you know, live shows, just some recordings of some individual um, things techniques. Let me dry this. It's the this one's abandoned America. I think I'm going to go ahead and do back here too now that I clean my brush. Let's do this right back here. Get that little corner. Not sure if I even want that. Let's see. I think I'm just going to go ahead and go all the way across here. Let's just do this. Okay. I'll show you the cover in just a second. <laughs> I haven't got that far, Pacola. Okay, so this is the one I'm working in, Abandoned America, The Age of Consequences. And then I've also been, you know, I showed this one earlier, and I, I work in this one the most, Abandoned Places, because I really want to completely finish that book eventually. Okay, so let's just keep moving here. Let's see what else I want to do. Just whatever strikes me. I'll just stop and paint some of it out. You know, see, like this is a good one for um, mist. Let's do let's do a little bit of that just so you can see that. Okay, let's go back to the black and get rid of whatever. Okay, let's think of another art question. Okay. If you could do, <laughs> if you could do one major art piece in any, in, in, let's just say, let's don't talk about the, the materials so much, but if you could do one major art piece, what would it be? Like, would you, you know, like, you think of, you know, and I'm not saying don't do like Norman Rockwell, but I'm just saying how he did, um, you know, a lot of folk like homespun type themes what what would you like to do if you could do like a major piece of art you know there's people that like to do say comic books to to do their um, stories in uh, wh how would you like to tell your story in what way would you rather write a book? Would you want to do a digital painting? I could see Eileen doing that. 
or a digital book or you know what would you portrait CB said portraits well you, you do that pretty darn good already there CB CB has a knack for faces for sure I love CB's faces I don't think I've given them all away so I can't show you one of her faces I mean I probably have one put away that she sent me but I can't put my hand on it right this second paintings of your dog so you would do you would like to do like um, pet portraits button would do photographs Erin finish her book or <laughs> series uh, well I don't know you need only you can do it only you can do it all right let's see here what do I want else I think this right here my my paints getting dried out I need to put some more paint out because the fans blowing and the lights and everything are on my paint so this black paint I have and I just have a little lid of paint right there you can see it's already getting crusted over it's getting dried out oh I should have put some wax paper behind there I don't want to glue that shut I mean, I've done murals. You know, I don't do murals anymore because it's a lot of physical. I mean, it's a lot of work to do murals and going into other people's homes. Like to paint watercolor flowers and nature. Judy, photorealistic drawing in graphite. Judy, I haven't seen you post anything lately. Did, are you taking a break? Pat said a large pen and ink drawing of an old homestead. Well, you can do that, Pat. Just take take a start with the photograph and and do the, you know, even if you have to trace the line art to get that, uh, get the, you know, architecture's tricky. You know, I don't enjoy doing buildings, but you, there's ways for you to do it. And then do the ink. That could be your Inktober. <laughs> you could do the one thing for the whole month for the whole month Pat mountain dreamers draw flowers working on some sketches oh good Pat good I just don't enjoy the precision of buildings I mean, you know, like, I like urban sketching type stuff, but to do, you know, it, rendering, like architectural renderings, you know, you got to, yeah, I don't, I don't enjoy it. It's not my thing. <laughs> oh, okay. How did your camera break in your phone, Judy? What happened? This is all news to me. I didn't know that you weren't able to take your pictures. Let me dry this while I'm reading chat. Mag, do you like abstract? Alright, let me get a little bit of white paint here. Let me get another little, little tray of something here. Got a clean, brand new coffee lid here. I hope this white paint hasn't been on. Let me get one that's already open. Here we go. Probably the circuit board. It's your phone just stopped working. <clears throat> okay, so I like to get some in a baby wipe here. I like to mash it into my baby wipe. So it's mashed in. And I gotta decide where. Whoops! What happened here? Don't go to sleep, computer. This reminds me of a scene in a oh, music video. <laughs> now we're gonna do a video. Okay. All right. Let's see where I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna come through here 
and then I think I'll come around this way. Too heavy there. Let's back that out a little. And then maybe go right. So we're going to go up this way. Something like that. That's pretty kind of cool there. There we go. A little further. And maybe right down in here. Gee, my phone is one step above a flip phone. Okay. All right, Judy. Well, then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right now do I want let's put this back here do I want some of it to come across here maybe let's blend some more down in here let's see here where do I want to go with this maybe a reflective light I don't want it there, just there. This will probably be stars and things down here anyway. Don't know if it really needed that, but I'm committed to doing it. So. Teresa Crafting Chaos. Okay. Nice to have you in the wings. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop on this one. Although I really think it needs to go ahead and put some splatter. I think I will go ahead and splatter on this one. So let's go ahead and put some water here. I need a softer, fluffy brush. I always have to dig around for those fluffy brushes. Let's see. There's one. Digging around on my brushes over here. There's a little one. Let's go with the little one here. it at that. Okay. All right, let's dry. going through the book right now guys and doing some backgrounds and some you know reverse collaging type thing just to show you that you don't have to complete a picture all at one time do a little bit move on come back to it you know come back to it look at this old phone look at this Janet <laughs> Just trying to wake people up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mm, let's see, maybe this one. I 
need some more black paint. That's all dried up. All right, let's see here. Oh, where's my let's put some paper behind here? The phone. <laughs> Judy, that's good, Judy. That was perfect timing. Judy said, we're talking about her phone. She said, that's like hers. That's your cell phone. <laughs> ah, Judy, good one. <laughs> good one, Judy. <laughs> but this is very relaxing, guys. It really is very relaxing just to reverse out things. You, you know... It, it, you you don't you just gotta do it sometime if you haven't tried it. <laughs> it's very peaceful. I'm using an angle brush so I can get a straight line with it. Fairly straight, anyway. But when you do stuff like this, guys, and it's relaxing, and you're just like, you'll think of so many things. You'll think of so many, and, and you know, try them out. If you never tried to do mist or stars or anything like that, paint out a page and try it. You know? And black is pretty good with just acrylic paint, no water. It's pretty good about covering everything up. But some colors, red, yellow, lime green, um, you know, they're, they're a little more translucent. You might need two coats. And it depends also on how much this paper is slick or not or whatever. Do you need to whip out your whip app? <laughs> Yeah, I don't like chalk because of that, Karen. I don't like pastels and chalk because of the dust. It's everywhere. It's messy. And I just don't like the feel of the dryness of chalk. I've done it some. You know, I, I've had to some in classes and things where you draw, you know, do life drawings. And you got to use chalk sometimes. And you, uh, in the beginning. They don't usually make you after that. But how do you know when to add water? I don't add water to them. Um, very rarely do I add water. Well, I mean, I added water to the this so that it would water down so I could splatter it. It just, you, you know, it, but if you want an opaque color, you got to use no water. No water in this black paint. I'm not sh quite sure if that's what you're asking. Or not. Same thing for the uh, color book pages. If you want to do a wash, I always say it's a wash. Um, and it's different in your color books because when you put acrylic paint in your color book, if you want to go over, say, a big area, a big leaf, let's say, you want to water down your acrylic paint so you still see the color book lines. If it's a background and you're just coloring it solid, then just leave it no water. Diva's fine. Well, see, it's different in a color book page. This is a totally different process, guys. Yeah, in a in a in a color book page. Here, let me show you this book here. 
I'm working in the flower fairies. Okay. If I'm doing a background, here, let me show you. Look, I painted the background and there's no water in that. That's just acrylic paint right out of the bottle. If I wanted to color this, let's just say these leaves. If I wanted to color these leaves, I'd water it down so I could still see the lines. Yeah, it's a different process. Blacking something out is a different process than washing over color book lines. So, yeah. I try to make it clear. Every, that's why I repeat myself so much. Because <laughs> every time I do something, I want everybody to understand exactly what I'm doing and not have any, um, you know, doubts about the process. Um, when you get that thing done, you need to do, go, do, and, yeah, that, I have to go out for that. I'll have to do that this weekend, um, Pacola. My Inktober project, it requires going out. A recon, <laughs> as I called it, for, um, my, my, uh, Inktober. So, yeah. How long does one bottle of Americana paint last? It depends on... How much I, I don't know. It doesn't take a lot to do this. But it depends on how, if I sat here and did the whole book, I could probably get everything black that I need black in this book with one bottle. If I just did something like this on every page, yeah, not a lot. And this is only, you know, this is like a dollar. Hello, Palisades Pony. Thank you. Good to have you. Thanks, everybody. And Katie, is this a mixed media page in a regular book? Yes. I have all kinds of videos, Katie, in my playlist, my YouTube playlist. Just look under mixed media collage or mixed media altered books, and there's tons of pages. Here, let me, since you're just coming in, let me go back to this book, Abandoned Places. And show you a couple here. You know, this is where we go with it. I'll show you a couple finished ones. There's, this one has the most finished pages in it. I'll just try to get flip right to the page. This is in process. I'll try to flip to the pages that are done. These are finished pages, and there's videos. Night, Aussie. Sleep well. Um, there's process videos on almost all these. This one's not done. No process video on that one. Try to get to the ones that are finished. This one. I showed them at the beginning, but a whole bunch more people have come in since I sh flipped through. Yeah, and if y'all are talking to me, uh, ask, uh, please put it in caps. If you're new, because the, the chat scrolls by really fast, and if it's not in caps, I won't think you're yelling at me. I, th I think you're just trying to talk to me. <laughs> so this one's in process. Um, so yeah, put it in caps if you want to ask me something. This one. I have quite a few pages done in this book. This one. This one. Oh, thanks, Connie. If Yeah, if you're afraid to start a color book page, speaking of, Connie brought that up, then make a copy of a page out of one of your favorite books to practice on. And then test all your mediums and 
you know, see what you like if you're new to it and don't know what to do. And that's a color book. This is this is an altered book. Different process. So you see I've got quite a few pages done in this book. No, no, I will not be getting rid of my Abandoned Places books. <laughs> There's a lot of work in these. This one's got some bits done. Um, still in process. I really like this one here, the ghost town. I love this with the ghost town and the planets. So yeah, so this has got quite a few pages and then this one's varnished. So eventually I'll varnish them all too, but that's this one. And then last week, or the week, well, maybe the week before, we did, where's my finished one in here? This page here. This one. In this book. And it's got collage, paint. Right now, what I'm showing people is I'm just going through a book and painting out different ones just to kind of show you how to get started if you're afraid to get started. Oh, I like that chair. I might have to go back to that one too. All right, where's my brush? This one's on this side. So let's do this. Oh, that's the wrong brush. Hang on. Is it this one? Yeah. So I got dabbed all and clean my brush and then I try to get out the excess paint because I want I don't want any I don't want this watered down. Alright, so let's see So anyway, this is just to make a start. If you're afraid to start cutting, collaging, gluing, and all that, then just start with some paint. Just start painting things out. And again, pick a book, a theme of a book that you like because if you don't like abandoned places you're not going to want to do a whole book of them <laughs> you know what i mean Vern? you're not going to want to do okay i don't i want this to go straight across and then these will tilt this way But it, when I watch the abandoned show, um, the later today or tomorrow, whenever I have time, and I draw out of it, I'll show you whatever I draw out of it. Do you paint out the whole page? No, I don't paint out the whole page. I paint out sections like like I've been doing all morning, Prisma. You haven't been paying attention. <laughs> Just teasing. Don't email me. <laughs> or, or I might be not understanding your question. I mean, you can make a star system really fast. Well, unless maybe we'll do it on this one. With uh, pencils and splatter.
You might need to refresh. Can someone tell Katie to refresh her page? She might need to refresh if it's not moving. Okay. So let's just start with that. And see, I love this reflection here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and put a little more black down here. Smear in a kind of a reflection thing here. <clears throat> okay, now um, let me um, dry this. I'm kind of just doing little bits and bobs today, showing some of the process. Um, thicker page books, you know, they're not, they're not magazine thick I mean they're they're you know a decent a weight and and lots of big pictures to work with yeah but the the type of book you want to get is a subject matter that's interesting to you you have to get a subject matter that's interesting to you let's see was this the fluffy brush I was using I don't think so but I'm gonna try this whoops too much oh that's okay I'll leave it Do a few planets and things up here. Okay, and then I want a little bit down here. Down here in the ref whoop, that's too big. Too much too big a splatter. Just a little down here. I'll wipe away while it's wet, because there's no matte medium on this, so if you want to wipe anything away, you gotta grab it while it's wet. <laughs> Alright, let's dry this. No, none of these pages are matte medium yet, Lena. Yeah, I usually don't matte medium until I go to work on a full-on page. But I'm going through the book just to show you that if you're, if you don't know where to start, just start blacking or coloring or whiting, whatever color, um, to get rid of what you don't want. And again, guys, I, I probably have 30, 50 different videos, you know, 30 to 50 videos. If you look in my playlist, I talk about every, every time I do a new one, I start about, I talk about all the process. But today I'm kind of just skipping around, showing people just how to get inspired <laughs> to work in their books. All right, so now let's just take a couple pencils here just to, just to kind of show. Oh. Let me get a blue, my usual white, and an orange. This one's a little bit. Okay. I have to sharpen these. Where's my sharpener? Did anyone watch what, Connie? Did anyone watch what? I'm sorry. You put it in caps, so I think you're talking to me when it's in caps. So I don't know what. Did I watch what? I try to keep up with chat as best I can. Okay, so I'm going to do some planets up here. Is that dry? Not quite. Didn't quite get that dry. 
let's just do a big one here. Still damp, hang on. Today, you thought today was Thursday. Okay, I, I, I'm sorry, I don't know. I know, uh, where's, uh, if Terry, I mean, if, uh, who else watches Survivor? Survivor's on tonight, the new Survivor. If you watch it, if you're a Survivor watcher, we all tweet on Survivor. Email me, Megan. Email me. Depends on what it is you want to do. <laughs> okay, let's see. It's just black. I need black here. Yeah, that comes it comes on tonight. Let's just do a couple of shooting stars. Maybe I'll just do a couple more littler planets here. Let's do three. Could probably make one even like a Saturn type thing here. Maybe a little nebulization. And co see, color pencil goes over acrylic paint. Yeah. Yeah, you, you do have to, because I'm not doing a, a full-on page right this minute. I'm kind of skipping around. But yeah, I've got tons of videos on it. If you're new here and haven't seen this before. Um, I'm almost up to 800 videos, guys. I'm just shy of 800 videos. In three years, that's three years is only as long as I've been uploading to YouTube. Um, I've been streaming for seven, but only uploading to YouTube for three. I think it's about three. Julie Topaz always tells me, uh, keeps me correct on my. That needs to be not back there. And maybe one shooting star or something. Let's do one shooting star down here, maybe. And then this would come right up there, but I haven't painted the, or matte medium matte. See, this is slick. This is slick. I haven't put any matte medium on it. So pencil will not go on this. I mean, I can probably scruff it down really hard. But pencil will not go on your shiny pages. It has to be knocked, the gloss has to be knocked back for pencils to work. Um, oh, you'll see. You'll see, Pacola. Okay. So something like that, just as a background. And I, again, this is, this is just a quick background with nothing else going on here, right? All right, so now let's keep rolling through the book and finding a few more things to black out. And thanks everybody for being here. We got a full house on a Wednesday. I'm sure I'm missing saying hi to some people, but I appreciate you being here. All right, let's keep rolling here. This looks like one of the schools that the guy um, on my show I watch abandoned. That looks like one of the schools he actually went to. Hmm, could be Terry Trouble. Love this one. This has got so much possibility. Let's just paint out the sky real quick. <laughs> I'm trying to get y'all inspired to try an altered book. Just, you know, buy you a theme that you like. It doesn't have to be abandoned places. Get whatever topic theme that is interesting to you. 
so you'll stick with it. All right, let's move over to the other side. And I just put the wax paper there so I don't glue my pages together with uh, the paint on the edges. Make sure they're 100% dry before you close the book. That's why I heat gun it. Oh, thanks, Terry. Thank you, girlfriend. So yeah, I want to draw some abandoned places to go with my fox in this 1930s coffee shop. <laughs> All right, so there we go. See how just painting out the ceilings does, you know, does so much. All right, heat gun, where you go? Jean, how you doing? Oh, okay. Well, you take care of yourself, sassy pants. Alright, let's see. Can't get to my water. I've got books piled up here. I mean, I wish I <laughs> got to see my desk. Oh my gosh. It's piled a foot deep. Alright, so let's see. Let's just keep flipping here. I'll probably do a little bit. I don't know if I'll have time to complete a whole page today. But maybe we'll do this one because this may be a quick one. Let's go ahead and work on this with the matte medium and everything. Where's my paper? Let's just go for this one. So I will start with moving some of the books off the desk here because I have no space. Let's go ahead and do this page. I, don't, I won't do a real, real, real detail page while I say that. We never know, right? Um, but we'll go ahead and work this page with some collage. So I'm just going to go ahead, like, let's just imagine I was going to do this, like I've been doing throughout the whole book. Okay, we'll start with that. I miss what show y'all are talking about. What comes back on, Katie? I missed it. Okay, I had a little bit of water in my brush when I didn't dry it out completely, so I need to add a little bit more paint here because there's a little water in my brush. what days. I try to do them every Monday. I have nine episodes uploaded to a playlist on my YouTube channel 
so you can go watch all nine of them. They're on a, they're on a playlist in my YouTube channel. Okay, so I think there's a start. Now, let's see. I'm going to think about... Let me dry this first because I'm going to put matte medium down in a minute. Ah. Oh, pity. Okay, I don't watch that. I try to do one every Monday. Um, there's one week I missed a Monday. but So out of ten weeks, I've got nine episodes. Something like that. Okay, so let's see. Let's move some of these extra little pieces of paper and maybe pick out some collage stuff over here. Let's move my baby wipes, my water. Got to make some space. All right, let's see. What collage bits do I have over here? Maybe some of this is way too big. Let's maybe start with some... Uh, I don't know if I want to do some fractals. Do I want some fractals? Do I want some... I have some uh, stained glass window. That would probably be good down a path. Let's see here. Maybe, how much do I need? From here to here, maybe? Let's cut some of this down. <clears throat> And, and really you want to tear your collage whenever possible. The reason you want to tear collage is because, if, especially if they're edges, you know you're going to blend with paint. It's much easier to blend a torn um, edge than it is a cut edge. But, you know, I do both, but it, it's just easier. Okay, so let's see here. I want this to kind of come. Let me get the angle I want here. Just kind of eyeballing it. Something like about that. I gotta make sure it fits in there. So this I'll cut down right there. So let's right at that. Let me just trim. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna trim this down here because I know where I'm going with it. So. <laughs> Inktober is put out by Mr. Jake Parker. You can go to his website. All right, let's see. So if that's right there, let's spin this. I'm just folding it at the at the uh, perspective lines here. And I might cut this down and not like it, but we're going to see. Okay. Thanks. It's from a calendar, but I do have a whole book. No, this might be, yeah, this is from a calendar. I do have a whole book on uh, Tiffany Glass and <laughs> that I cut up. Okay, so that's there. And now let's make sure I'm right on the line here for an accurate perspective. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of jack-of-all-trades around here, I'll tell you. That is for sure. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to... I need just a little bit right there, but I'll probably just cut that off anyway. So now I'm going to just fold right along the edge of the book. <coughs> cut this down. So yeah, if you're just joining us, it's um, hump day. Where's Phil? I have my big, I have my, um, where is, oh, let me get out my, uh, if I can find it real quick. Hang on. Let's see. Oh, 
Mike, 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 Mike. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like to bring him out every now and then on hump day. <laughs> All right, so let's see. That's, that's pretty. I didn't quite trim it down enough. Let's see, let's trim it right there. And I might have to trim a little more off the bottom here. Didn't get quite enough off. Alright. That will be there. Alright, so let me move all this. See, this will be good for other things. I may even, I do need a small watch. I have a big one here. This is, this is going to be a little too big. <laughs> I have a fish here. Got a, that's a little big, too. He could go on this side. <laughs> he could fill up this page. Actually, my watch would probably be best on this side because it's the same colors. So maybe we'll do that. Let's see. And you want to really paint right in the ditch rather than glue, you know, you try to get as close as you can, but if you try to glue right up to the ditch, it's going to start cracking, you know. Um, okay, so let's go with this. Nope, I want that further down. I want the top of that to show, I think. Let's see, that looks good. All right, let me trim this. I'll just tear it because I'm going to paint a black around it anyway. Alright, let's see. Let's see how far do I want to come in. We'll make it a double page spread. I hadn't planned on making it a double page spread, but we'll make it a double page spread. Okay, and tear that down, and then I think I'll put a little bit of, I know it's hard to see because it's, let me move my computer over just a little, because it's, I can't fit it all in and be zoomed in. That'll go there, and then over on this side, I think I'll put a little bit more of the, this underneath. That'll work. Or maybe on top. Oh, you can't see over here. See what I'm working on over on this side. Y'all pushing Terry to get on with something. That won't, I have this hang, hung up over here. Let's see. Do I want this like this? Because I'm going to paint it out. So maybe I'll just go to here. I do like a little of the blue, but maybe not that much. I'm going to glue all this down here in a minute, guys. There. I like that better. Okay, so that'll be glued down. I'm going to back out the camera. You won't see as much close-up, but um, you can't see the whole page here because it's two pages <laughs> all right so let me go ahead and start gluing down just to 
get it going. And then this is going to be painted out black here, but I'm going to go ahead and glue. All right, so I'm going to use, um, get some store stuff here. Found this old Ingalls thing from the mail. You get these cards in the mail all the time, so. All right, so now I'm going to pour out some golden matte medium. And I always put a little plastic on the lid so that the lid comes right off. Otherwise, you'll glue it shut. And trust me, look how much crusty stuff is around that lid. If I didn't put this on there, this baby would have been glued shut long ago. And then my brushes, I use, they'll, they're the only brushes I keep in water, are my glue brushes. So let's find one here. Here's one. And they're pretty crusty too, because <laughs> they sit in water. All right, so I need another piece of wax paper behind this side. Let's see what we can do. All right, it got a little flashed out because the sun came out. <laughs> Knock back the light. Okay. So I'm going to start over here on this side and glue this down. So when you matte medium, again, you want to knock back all the shine then just go ahead and put a coat of matte medium over the whole thing and it can go right over your paint too it's not going to hurt it's going to dry clear but i'm really concentrating on the shiny bits okay and especially where you know i want to put enough down here where i'm going to actually glue this down so i'm going to put that down and then i put it on the back of the thing i'm going to glue down on your base and then also over the top. Keep that wax paper. You'll glue your pages shut. Okay. And I put quite a bit. Then take your card. Now what do I do with it? Well, <laughs> let me get another one. I'll take a card and then just mash it out and get any wrinkles out. Okay, so we got, so now the whole page has got matte medium over the whole thing. So there's no, the shine is gone. Okay, now... I'm going to go ahead and dry this so I can set this over to the side and get over to this side. <laughs> hey, Julie Topaz. I'm working in my altered book. One of them. I have three I work in. And I'm going to make this kind of a not, probably, not that complicated of a page. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> okay, so now let me just tear off a little excess paper here. All right, so now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to get this whole thing. I can, I'm just going to pick some up with the card and just get a whole bunch down because I'm going to do a whole, I'm gluing a big thing down here. <laughs> So I want to get a lot of matte medium down. All right, now let's go ahead and get some more here. Because I'm gluing this giant watch part down from a calendar. Put it on the back. I'll have to get out some more here. Right. 
Oops, let's go this way. And I'll need some more. Put the plastic bag back over the lid so when I don't glue it shut. right there in the crevice because it wants to fold up in the crevice. So I'm moving kind of quick so that I can mash it down with the card before it gets too wrinkled. Oh, here it is. So I'm just going to mash it down really well. It, it glues and gets rid of wrinkles. I have to get back in a little edge there. Thank you, Julie Topaz. Happy hump day to you, too. All right, we'll see. Well, so you can look at it from the side and see if you've missed anything. But this is definitely where you want to have wax paper because you'll glue your pages together if you don't. Okay, so now I need a baby wipe to keep my hands clean. Now I'm going to add that bit of, where'd it go? Here it is. This little bit of a window over here. And I'm going to start painting. Now I might need to find a couple other little items. Let's see. I'm trying to kind of keep it simple because I want to finish it with maybe paint. But I do might I I might need something else on it. Let's, see, let's pick up some of the trash. Excuse the squeaky chair, guys. It is what it is. It's my squeaky chair. All right. I did say that I'm I'm looking forward to sometime using this <laughs> big keyboard. Hi Grace, anybody else popping in? Um, kind of rolling here, so. Um, let's move some of this out of the way, this out of the way. Let's maybe get cut a couple planets. Let me go ahead and paint this out, and then we'll maybe glue on a couple planets or something. All right, so let's go back to the black. Move the scissors. Where is my brush I was using earlier? Ah, here it is. It's Let me move some of this stuff off my desk because I have no space. All right. This and that. Oh, it's a, you should see at the end of a stream, guys, it's a good hour cleanup. <laughs> All right. All right, now because it's, oh, let me go ahead and hit this with a heat gun. Hang on. Wait a minute. I, I want to glue this to the wax paper. Here we go. Yeah, I thought you'd like that, Jean. So now that there's a coat of matte medium over it, now paint can be wiped away. I missed a, I feel a little bubble right there. I missed the spot. But can't be in too big of a hurry, but you know, when you're streaming, you can get in a hurry. So now, if I want, if I put black paint down, or any color, um, if I get it somewhere I don't want it, with the baby wipe, I can completely wipe it away. And the reason that works is because of the matte medium. Okay, you can't do that without the matte medium. Okay, so now I'm going to start doing, oops, let's get the, I think I need a, let me get a, let me get a clean, that one's all, uh, what do you call it, here, let me use this one. It's all sticky. <laughs> all right, let's go with another one. All right, so now I'm going to get in here and start blending and painting. 
and making a world. Probably need to trim that edge. And you can blend with your finger, you can blend with baby wipes. You know, you can wipe some of it back. Can you explain what gesso is? It's like it's like clear paint. It's like clear acrylic paint. Yeah. I don't use it. I don't feel, you know, I mean, I've used it a couple times just to demo it. But um, if I'm going to, like, get rid of something or coat, coat a page, I'll either use my golden matte medium or paint. I just... I just don't find the need for it. That's just me. There's lots of techniques that you can use it for, but they're just not techniques I do. I've tried it with the color book page. I did that demo uh, with the gesso, the clear gesso for the color books. Didn't like it. <laughs> Didn't like it at all. Not for any of it, really. I mean, it worked for a couple mediums better than others in the color book page. Did not like it at all. Okay, I want to do this here. I want to get rid of some of this. I'm paint around. But uh, I'm no expert on it because I don't use it. So I would just say Google it if you want to know. Or I'll put it in a YouTube search. And you'll find lots of people that love their clear gesso. <laughs> you know, and use it a lot. Not me. <clears throat> I think I will get rid of that blue or some of them. Let's just knock it back. It's too much blue there. All right, same thing for this. I don't want this is too bright over here. I almost just want this as a background. So let me just <clears throat> get some black paint and just kind of I want it in the background. I'm going to put stars and planets over this. I feel, I hate that I have a lump right there because I didn't get enough matte medium right there in this one spot. I can feel it, but whatever. I didn't take my time. It's my own fault. <clears throat> when I get rushed or feel like I'm rushing. <laughs> so, there's a start. Don't want to rush your process. All right, let's go back down here on the edge. So, who here has done, who here has not done, because I think pretty much everybody has, who has not done mixed media or collage or art journaling, you know, because you kind of use them interchangeably, who has not done any of that? I'd like to have a show of hands, please. <laughs> All right, my black paint's getting dry. Who has not done it? Thanks. Katie, I did a flip through some of my books earlier. You probably weren't here. Let me dry this. I might get rid of that one bubble right there. I didn't mash it down enough right there, <laughs> but that's okay. I think drying it will help. I'm going to do our watch hands. I'm going to do a couple planets. I'm going to do some mist rolling through these doors. And I'm trying to do it all in the next... Uh, 30 minutes <laughs> okay so that's pretty good all right move the wax paper for a minute I think I'll take let's see I might want to glue I got some marbles here let's see what color marbles where's my scissors this one might be too bright let's do a test here let me cut this marble out and see if the colors work for me. Give me a planet here. It's 
it's going to be too big. Might be able to work it in over here. Uh, see, it's going to be too. I could probably do it. I don't like it with next to this. Might have to overlap. There we go. That's probably what I need to do. Or even right there. Over the top of this. I need a couple of them though. I need three. Let's see. Here's a little one. Maybe this big green one might be good. I'm just cutting out marbles, guys. <laughs> it's a nice big green one. I don't want them all the same size, though. I can cut them down whatever size I want. See, that's too much the same, so that one won't work. Let's see what else. This one maybe? It's hard to tell until I actually get them on the page, you know? Let's see. Maybe this one. Now it's got too much red. I'd rather keep it with the yellows and the greens. Can't see chat for a minute, guys. Hang on. Keep it with the yellow. This one, I'll just cut it down smaller. So we'll go with that. And I'm going to blend them in with paint and pencils and all of it. Um, Yeah, all my videos, this one may be the exception because I went through and just black. It, well, it might really actually be a beginner video because I went through the whole book the last two hours and blacked out things. So this may be a good beginner video. Okay, let's see. Do I want... I'm not really liking that. Maybe it just doesn't need that big one. Maybe over there. Maybe it just needs one. Mm. If I put one there, then I need a small one over here. But I can draw one in. I can just paint one in. I'll just paint one in there with those colors. Okay, so let me go ahead and glue this down. While well, my matte medium and my brush is still wet. <laughs> okay. I think I want this tilting this way. Because I'm going to have the hand of the watch going right through it. And then probably cut across over there. Okay, let me get my... Mash this down. <clears throat> Are you talking about the big sketchbook? Yeah, Katie, I, I'm working in that too. <laughs> um, if I get time, I'll show it at the end. The big 600-page sketchbook? Yeah. I've had it for a couple years and really didn't work in it much. And then everybody started doing the slam challenge. So I'm still working in it, but at my own pace. I'm not trying to finish it in a month. I, I just have too many other things I'm doing to finish a whole sketchbook in a month. But I am working in it. <laughs> All right. So now I think I'm done gluing. So let me put my brush back in the glue water. And hit this with the heat gun. Need another baby wipe. Hang on, I gotta get some stuff off my hands. Okay. 
it's a little bit right there just doesn't want to stick I might have to just uh, at the end get me uh, my Eileen's tacky out there's just a couple little areas I didn't get enough matte medium on there so we'll see well here's some right there let me just mash it in there try to get underneath I just missed a gluing because you get in a hurry when you're doing a show you try to get it all you know as much done in here as you can so let me just kind of mash that down with my finger here how is the paper in that sketchbook it's pretty thin it's thicker than copy paper but it's thin because you got 600 pages but it's for sketching you know it's not made for mixed media it's not made for obviously no copics or anything like that that'll go right through but I use my Crayola, I use my Crayola uh, markers in it, and it doesn't go through. Unless I, you know, you can make it go through if you really scrub, scrub, scrub it, but, you know. Okay, so there we go. A couple of planets there, and then I'm going to put, but let's splatter some stars first here. So let's move this. Let's wet down my white paint here find my scruffy brush is there enough white paint there we'll see and i know you probably can't see a whole lot because i'm so zoomed out doing a double page spread but hang on we'll get there <laughs> Okay, now while the paint is just sitting there, I can go in if there's like any place like right here on the watch. I don't want it. I don't want it on the building right there. So you can kind of see how far we got. I'm going to hold it up. Okay, whoops. Just splattered my paint. <laughs> I don't have room on my desk. It's jam packed. All right, let me hit this with a heat gun. Yeah, it's not made, the big sketchbook is not made for uh, mixed media. There's other sketchbooks that are better, much better for mixed media. It's just really for sketching. Now let me pour out a little bit of white paint that's not watered down. And let me get a baby wipe here. I want to do some misting. All right, so let's see how I want this to go. Because I'm going to have the watch hands coming across here too. So I'll probably want some here. I probably should have kept the wax paper under there and try to do one side at a time <clears throat> don't want too much on that I see that little edge still is not glued down right there it will Alright, so here we go. Let's see where I want this to go. I think I'll start from this end. I start from way back here. No, maybe maybe I'll come through here. Maybe I'll come through here. And then through here. And then maybe out. No, I don't want it going up want to cross but you won't be able to see that maybe just a little there like that let's see no it's not the right angle just from there Thanks, Judy Patootie. Now 
Needs enough of a break though. So this needs to come down a little. There we go, that's better. Okay, that's good. And then if I have this coming through here, that's better. Have those angled up. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let me dry this. get a few other things done. Let me get my some pencils. And maybe a little yellow too and white. The colors that are all in here, you know. Um, and I want another planet up here. I gotta do my watch hands. So <clears throat> let's do one maybe behind here. Well maybe I'll zoom in one now. And again, the reason that I can use the pencil on here is because of the a paint and the uh, matte medium. Okay. I'll wait on a shooting star because I'm not sure yet. Maybe have a little. This will tie this blue in over from over here. Maybe a little one right here, maybe. Get too much. That's a little big, but oh well. Maybe I'll make that one a. This is where I'm going to myself. This is when I talk to myself. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. 
in my head going shh, shh, shh. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Maybe I want a couple. Where's my white pasta? get a little bit extra white bright here. Still with the tour guys? <laughs> Are we still with the tour? Back over on this side a little bit. Tour looks great. <laughs> Thanks, Jean. <laughs> and I'm just going in here with color pencil because you can go over the matte medium. You can go over the matte medium and the um, paint with pencil. But you can't do that without the matte medium and the paint. So I think I'm going to leave that. Let's see, maybe a little bit here. This has still got a little edge there, not glued, not glued down, that I need to glue down with some just regular glue right there on the edge. All right, now let me do my watch hands. Um, let me go ahead and get one going across here. Because I want this one to come. Do I want it to come through that? Do I want it to come through here and then there? I think. I think I want it to go here. I probably should just get a ruler. I will. Oh. Because I can see where the tangent's going to go, Jean. <laughs> if I have a ruler. Okay, see that this angle here is kind of bothering me. That right there needs to go. That's what's bugging me. This right here, where's my black paint? Is there any left in there? Let me get rid of this. There we go. That line right there, it's too interfering with what I want to do. So I'll get rid of that line. Put a couple more stars there in a minute. That's better. Let me dry that. Bye! Thanks for stopping in. Okay, so now let me get a couple more. Stars put back in. And then maybe have my blue carry down a little. It almost looks like a shooting meteorite. <laughs> Alright, now here's where I need to go. From here. Because I want it to go through that door and through that planet too. So now it should work. Because I want it to come in this door. 
and I'll make it thicker and all. And then through this plan and off the page. All right, so then I have my line. Now I need to paint that in or pencil it in. I might be able to pencil it in, sharpen my black pencil. All righty, let's dry that, make sure it's dry. we doing on time let me check now yeah, we still got a good 15 20 minutes okay so now that I have a line to follow and I'll go back over it with more white highlight I just got to block it in here going to come through there and out here and then more highlights and stuff so I think that's pretty good go back with the sharpen where's my sharpener What about her, Barb? You're asking if we watched her. What What does she do? I mean, why are you... What is it that we should know? Tell me. There's a lag. What technique does she do? Are we talking about? Can you tell me, Barb, what she does? I missed it, if y'all already said. Bueller, Bueller, <laughs> can y'all hear me? Okay, thank you. Thanks, Jean. You know, when people don't answer, you just wonder, you know, <laughs> if, if people can hear you. Because we know there's a, the L word, the lag. <laughs> so is that are you getting into that barb we were talking about our uh favorite um mediums to use earlier before you got here is that what you're getting into or into
Is that your new medium of choice? <laughs> Blend this, fit, smooth this out straight in a minute. Just gotta find my, find my line here. Well, but I meant, are you getting into it? Takes a minute, guys. I gotta kind of get it neat. I think it is Bacola. Oh, I gotta dry that because the paint's wet there. All right, let me sharpen my pencil. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Oh, wait, I need the black one first. I'm going to get my white line nice and straight with the black. I just want a tiniest bit of highlight on it. It's not exactly straight, but it's pretty good. Yeah, definitely if you do Copics, you need the skin set, no matter where you're using them, whether it's a color book or just whatever, you know? bright. I just wanted a little bit. There we go. That's pretty good. Okay, so did we finish? Because I was going to keep it kind of simple because we did most of everything we did today. We did um, just, you know, showing how to black out um, backgrounds. I need to all right let me put a couple stars um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a do one back here it'll be subtle but that okay and then something over here Terry, thanks, Button. Thanks, Eileen. It's not very complicated. There's not a lot 
of extra stuff going on. I gotta fix this. I might need to blend a little or something right there because it's not quite glued down right there. Um, do I want an aura? Maybe I'll just let's just test this out. Maybe I just want an aura around this. Let's go for it. Thanks, Teddy. So we got lots of them in the playlist. If you like seeing these, there's more in the playlist than recordings. All right, let's dry that and then I'll put some orange on it. So I hope you all enjoyed today's shoe. And just getting some, you know, altered book ideas. And it really needs to be blended out, I think. Needs more paint going across it. There we go. That's what it needed. This needs to come across too. <clears throat> right in the little crevice there. Give it a little more drama. A little more drama. Same thing for right up here. That almost could connect. There we go. I like that better. And then one more from here. That's better. Not quite so thick. Okay, something like that, I think. Did you get to watch your Peggy's? I watched half of it, Jean. <clears throat> I watched half of it. I'll watch the other half tonight when I fall asleep. <laughs> yes, I have watched half of it, Jean. It's awesome. So far, anyway. All right, now let me see if I can, how far I can back out. I don't know. Pretty so there's the double page spread it can almost use a little bit more stars down here and over here I mean like some whiter brighter stars going on over here just a little I could splatter it but I'm just going to dot them in Yes, exactly, Terry. I don't know if I'll get to that tonight, but we'll see. I might. I might be able to um, watch some of the abandoned tonight. There's my mailman. I hear him. Let's see if he stops. He comes up to the... I hear him out there. Okay. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. Again, let me well, let me hit it with the heat gun before I close it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah, that was from a beginner's page. But anyway, so we did go through and um, more toward the other side, I think. We we uh, I showed how to take 
um, some pages and start to see here this is blacked out there to give it a start let's see where else have we did a start here we did this one a little while ago there's nothing else going on just a little bit of space and uh, didn't do anything on this side yet but I can see look how that line goes this can easily connect to this easily connect um, this got this blacked out so I just went through at the beginning and showed how you can take your altered book and you don't have to necessarily complete a finished page like from start to finish you can just start by blacking some things out and, and just doing you know starting it this is not done but I just showed how you did the the uh, mist here thanks Pat. Yeah, it did work out well, didn't it? And see, I got a little bit of glue down here. I can see it. So it's a couple of my pages got some glue stuck to them. I don't want to glue my pages shut down here. Let's see. What else? Okay, this one was from the last show that we did in this book. Um, what else did we... That's what I want to do. I started doing a little bit here. What else? I started doing some here. What else? Let's see. So I got a little glue spot down here on the edge that's <laughs> grabbing the very edge. See how these motorcycles have all these cables? and machinery coming through see I would think this would be awesome to do this like make it alive give it a heart and give make them make the uh, cables and all be like blood vessels wouldn't that be cool guys maybe like look at this one this would be cool to make this like a pumpkin <laughs> I won't have time to really do it now but I'll just show you let's see here let me get an orange like let me just put a dot out like if you did a make this into a a Halloween piece have the pumpkin be the gas tank there and um, yeah we'll have to do that later <laughs> I think it would be a cool Halloween page don't you to have it be like coming alive have the motorcycle come to life what do y'all think would that be kind of cool <laughs> uh, we'll come back to that Let me put a little piece. I'm, that's still going to be damp. I'm going to put a piece of wax paper just so I don't glue these two pages together accidentally. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, here we started a couple. I think when I got the book, I started doing a waterfall coming down the stairs there. Am I going to collage a pumpkin this year? I don't know. I did that the last two years. and Well, two years ago, I did the masks. I think I, d I did the pumpkin two years in a row where I kind of do the same kind of collage techniques guys but I do it on a pumpkin um, I might I might do one <laughs> yes it's a different kind of Cinderella carriage that's good daddy yeah okay here so see I got rid of the sky and the floor here um, what else do we do? I started just, you know, getting rid of edges. That was all a white border. Um, what else? This would be a cool one to have, like, a waterfall. Have a waterfall kind of splashing down. Let's 
so anyway well anyway guys I'm gonna let y'all go I hope y'all had fun hope y'all enjoyed it hump day <laughs> uh, there's Phil <laughs> Thanks, Barb. Yeah, I showed the, uh, I showed the, I'll show it real quick again. Here's the mask I did two years ago. I showed these on Monday. Get a little space right here. These are my masks that I did the same way that I did the pumpkin last year. It's all with, oh, let's just put it upside down here. I'm looking at the wrong thing. See, this one has it like a tear. And it's all the same kind of process. It's just done on these masks. And then the, they're varnished. So there's this one. And then I have two half masks. Here's a half mask here. And last year, and I think the year before too, I did pumpkins. So I collaged and painted pumpkins, and then Hubster took them to work. <laughs> so he until they rot, you you know they, you can't keep them, you know. So um, he kept it on his desk for about a month, and then threw it away. So here's here's some little people going up a path right here. See, it's really tiny. And this see the, see the mountain right there. Yeah. So there's that half mask. So we'll either do a mask or a pumpkin or something uh, next month. And I am working on my Inktober, Pacola. Pacola keeps asking me if I got my, um, <laughs> there's a, you know, something I have to do to, to, for the Inktober that I have planned um, if it works out collage one of the fake pumpkins yeah but I don't I don't have a space to keep it this I mean I move these things around my studio all the time because I don't have a place for these I don't know where I keep a pumpkin you know I just it's more fun it's so organic to do a real pumpkin you know it's just <laughs> it's something about it <laughs> There's something about doing the real pumpkin. And I varnish it so it lasts a good bit. It lasts a month at least. You know, but when it starts getting soft and collapsing in on it itself, that's when Hubster threw it away. But I got pictures. I, it's, look on my Instagram. I think it was a Star Trek. I think I did a Star, was it a Star Wars or a Star Trek last year? Pumpkin. Um, let me look on my phone. I don't know if I can bring it up real quick. Hang on. Let's see. Let me go to IG. Let me go to my IG here. And I'll do a uh, autofocus thing. Let's see. Let me scroll back. I don't have that many pictures on Instagram. I only have 400 and some. That's not really a lot Instagram-wise. Here's my pumpkin. Because I got two or three pictures of it. Okay, let me keep rolling back here. Uh, there's last Christmas. There's last Inktober. Ah, here we go. All right, so let me put it on. Um, let me put it on auto uh, lighting. You know, auto right light, right light. There we go. So they're on Instagram now. Oh, now I gotta get auto focus too. Hang on, let's get focus and lighting. I don't know if it'll. Be, <laughs> we'll try, guys. Here, I'm trying. Trying to get it to focus. This may not want to. Anyway, go look for this little. Co whoops, there's my in there's my um, Inktober. Go look for this on Instagram. If if I had my iPad, it would do it, but it's not wanting to do it. There we go. Maybe a little. So it's a whole pumpkin. And what was it? Was it Star Wars? Oh, no, this one wasn't Star Wars. It was a year before that was Star Wars. This one was just a space one. The year before it was Star Trek, I think, or Star I don't remember. 
<laughs> so I think I have two pumpkins on there. So, okay, guys, I'm going to head out. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all had fun doing, um, doing the page. Where'd it go now? Let's go back to it one more time. With the big watch. Oh, there it is. There we go. An eagle or... Yeah, maybe it was the owl. I think it was an owl. And that was on the other side. <laughs> it was the year before that was Star Trek. Or Star Wars. I think it was Star Wars. Because <laughs> I think we did a Yoda. So, alright guys. Have a good day. See y'all later. Thanks, guys. <laughs>